नमस्कार माय डियर फ्रेंड्स लेट्स टॉक अबाउट ओपैम्प एप्लीकेशंस इन एल टी स्पाइस सिमुलेशंस सो व्हाट वील डू इज इन दिस सेशन वील ट्राई टू सिमुलेट ए नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर सर्किट सो यू ऑलरेडी नो द नॉन इन्वर्टिंग एम्पलीफायर सर्किट कॉन्फ़िगरेशन इज लाइक दिस वी हैव ए फीडबैक रेसिस्टर आर वी हैव रेसिस्टर आर एंड वी हैव द इनपुट वोल्टेज सप्लाई टू द नॉन इन्वर्टिंग इनपुट दैट इज पॉजिटिव इनपुट so if you want to find out what is your output voltage so from the design application you already know that v output will be equal to 1 plus r2 by r1 that is this r2 by r1 this is from my feedback resistor multiplied by v in so anyway even if you do not know the formula the thing is you have to understand 1 plus r2 by r1 into v in will be the output uh, for the non inverting amplifier okay so if you can see from this circuit you have R2 and R1 as 10k, 10k, so that is going to be 10 by 10, that is 1, so 1 plus 1, 2. So the total gain will be 2 times input, right? So if you have V input 1 volt, let us say this is my input voltage, which is 1 volt peak to peak, or 0 to 1 volt, right? So the output voltage will be 2 times 1, that is 2 volt. So you can see V output is 2 volt, right? So whenever this is 1 volt, the output is 2 volt. So this is very straightforward uh, simulation. So what we'll do is we'll try to understand how to draw this particular circuit in LTS spice, and we'll try to simulate this op-amp application in LTS spice. However, this is very very straightforward, similar to that inverting amplifier simulation in last session. So let's open LTS spice. <coughs> we can get rid of all the you know like uh, circuits. so this is my new blank window what we'll do is we'll open a new circuit so new schematic now what is our aim our aim is to build a non inverting amplifier so how quickly we can build the new, uh, build the op amp uh, circuit is we can place a part by going to this part symbol or component symbol so to place components we can press p as well so p so this is going to come up as p and if you want you can put down op amp okay so that will give you a general op amp so op amp this one or this one anything is fine if you want you can quickly put that op amp this is not having any parts okay however one more thing what you can do is you can try searching different op amps are already there okay so there are lot of op amps that is there okay so if you want you can put uh, try to search some other op amps let's say max 4353 and you can see here it is uh, single supply op amp with rail to rail outputs okay so this is how you can click any op amps so if you want you can put any particular op amps or you can have a general op amp also so i'll just delete one of them and i'll just have one of them okay <coughs> now we need uh, resistors so i'll just press r to get resistor let us say we are going to put this as load resistor and this one as feedback resistor 1 and this is my <coughs> resistor to the ground let's say we need voltage input so this one will be my voltage input v in and we need two more voltages which will be one will be vcc that is positive supply one will be negative supply so i'll just put two voltage supplies uh, let's say i'll just put it here <coughs> i'll put it here one and so two voltage sources i have put okay okay now what we can do is we can quickly wire them up uh, we need ground for that right so we need one ground i'll just put it here one ground i'll put it here one ground i'll put at the output two grounds i'll just put it here then let's press w to get wire and to wire this particular circuit so wire this up like this so this is how you can you know like quickly wire up so this is in non inverting input mode okay or a non inverting configuration so non inverting op amp amplifier okay and this is my circuit which is going to go to ready okay we can name these two voltage sources one will will one we will make it as vcc which will be my positive source and one will just make it negative source which will be let's say vee okay just press this okay done 
now what we'll do is we'll just wire up whichever is remaining nodes that's all we need two more this is supplies so if what you want is let's say if you have a single supply you can keep only one side positive and other side you can ground it otherwise we can put it VCC and VE both side okay so <coughs> we'll just press this as VCC and press this one as VEE -E. so this is my positive supply VCC and negative supply VEE which, which, which you can see this is connected by net name actually VCC is connected to this particular voltage source and VEE -E is connected to this particular voltage source okay so let's say I'll just define this V2 as uh, let's say 15 volt uh, whatever the voltage range of this particular IC is there that you can put it let's say 5 volt minus 5 volt all those things so let's say I am going to put minus 15 volt I have not seen this particular op amp right now however you can put it plus minus 15 volt that doesn't matter hmm. now let's define the values of resistors so I am going to define a gain of 2 so for that what will happen is I can put this one as 1 kilo ohm and this one as uh, 1 kilo ohm so 1 plus 1 by 1 that is R2 by R3 okay so that will be my gain 1 plus R2 by R3 that will be my gain so 1 by 1 that is 1 1 plus 1 that is 2 so 2 times uh, input will come so this is my input node I'll just put net name uh, what I'll do is I'll just put here V in so this this is my V in and this is my V out I'll just put right click it and change it to V out I'll just name it better yeah so we have V output we have V input node let's define a source V input source so what we can do is we can have uh, you know like pulse source or maybe DC source directly which will be non non uh, you know like uh, I mean is uh, non pulsing and we will have sinusoidal source also so let's say we'll define a sinusoidal source 0 volt offset will keep let us say we are going to keep 2 volt pick to pick okay then uh, we have a f let's say 2 volt we keep to pick to pick then we have let's say 1 kilohertz I'll just keep if you want you can put other values also but uh, you don't worry about it okay 1 kilohertz then time delay I'll just keep it 0 like I don't want any delay to start if you want you can give delay also not a problem let's define only one value that is remaining in this particular circuit is R1 value that is my load resistor so let load resistor we can keep it in let's say 10 kilo ohm range okay so I'll just put 10 kilo ohm now we are ready with our simulation circuit what you want is you can directly simulate this so if you have not configured the simulation it will automatically open to configure analysis or otherwise always a good practice to go ahead with configure analysis okay so configure analysis put your stop time so as you can see here we have 1 kilohertz pulse so that is going to give you uh, a pe time period of 1 millisecond so in 1 millisecond you will have one time period so let's say I'll run it for 4 milliseconds so that will give me 4 pulses okay or 4 complete periods of uh, data input right so that will be the understanding so how do we define the you know like a stop time is based on the input that we want to see at the output okay so now we are ready with complete circuit that you can see we press a space bar to fit this particular window now we can do one thing is we can run or press ctrl r to get the run window so this is my graph window and this is my circuit window if you want to have this one as right side and this one as left side what you can do is we have this tiling okay so you can press this one so we it can go to down and it can, it can come up to uh, come upward okay i like this one so it will be better okay so we have circuit and we have uh, waveform window now what is the thing that we want to plot so we want to plot input voltage so let us say I'll just plot input voltage go here and press this press this particular probe so you can get V of V input so V input you can see four pulses are coming up to four millisecond that we had uh, I have, you know defined for our configure analysis another thing is we want outputs so output should be what our expectation is to have a gain of two times so two times it means four volt peak to peak will come so I can put here V output as so you can see little bit bluish color V of V out you are going to get four volt peak to peak okay 
if you want to decide one thing let us say I, I want to clip this negative side so what I'll do is I'll just do this zero so let's see what happens my negative side input voltage is zero so it will not allow to go into negative side let us see whether it does or not so as you can see the output has been the output has been clipped to negative side like zero to minus you know like my negative side it is not going understood since you already know the output cannot go beyond your uh, supply voltage so supply voltage itself is zero it means negative side it is not reaching so it is always a good practice to understand what is what kind of input is there uh, what kind of our input is there if our input is uh, you know like by side two sided like positive side as well as negative side you always try to keep a uh, supply voltage of both side okay so i'll just keep it minus 15 volt or let us say if you want to keep minus 5 volt i can change to source to minus plus minus 5 volt also generally plus 5 volt and minus 5 volt are the sources that is most of the circuits in industries they are used to utilizing so still it is going up to plus minus 4 volt that you can see if you want to quickly try out with other sources uh, you can try out at the same time if you want to try out with other gain let us say I'll just put it uh, 1.5 uh, kilo ohm so what will happen the gain will be a 1.5 by 1 that is 1.5 plus 1 that is 2.5 so 2.5 times so what will happen 2.5 times will be 2 volt into 2.5 that is total 5 volt so let us see whether it keeps uh, plus minus 5 volt or not so yes it is giving plus minus 5 volt however it is seeing little bit of clipping so little bit of clipping is uh, happening because the op amp cannot reach to exactly supply volt equal to supply voltage that's the reason it is showing you clipped okay so you have to make sure that you, your output signal is within the supply voltage range otherwise it will have clipping effect okay like you can see better clipping like this let us say I am going to define my gain as 3 so sorry 3 plus 1 that is 4 times so total 8 volts should come up now let us see 8 volt is coming up or not no it is not coming it is reaching to plus minus 5 volt and getting clipped because my supply voltage itself is 5 volt so you can try out, try out like this one more thing is to draw quickly your all kinds of op amp circuits very easily you don't have to struggle what you can do is uh, just press a part or let's say you know like uh, come to a new circuit and just place a part press P and you can see any op amp that you are selecting you have a name here open example circuit so if you open example circuit it will open the circuit based on this particular op amp automatically okay so you can see it's a uh, input voltage itself is plus 3 volt plus 5 volt uh, the other one we, what we saw just now is also plus 3 volt plus 5 volts so you have to make sure the supply voltage is not more than that okay anyway any of these op amps if you want you can take it and the beauty of this uh, uh, LTS spice is it has lot of op amps that is available already so you don't have to worry about like what op amp we are using okay and then open example circuit you will be able to open this particular op amp circuit on its own so you can see this is the particular circuit that it is opening and the beauty is you have vcc that is 2.5 volt and vee that is minus 2.5 volt and at the same time you have input voltage and you have output and output is there with uh, uh, output load as well as capacitor and this is not a you know like inverting amplifier or non-inverting amplifier it is just a buffer okay so buffer you already know the non-inverting non input is your supply voltage and inverting input is actually going to go into feedback manner to the output so this is how the feedback circuit is simulated so what will happen whatever the input is there the same will be the output so if you want to run I'll just remove this circuit okay okay so this is the in uh, you know like buffer circuit that we are going to see just uh, just now we have opened the example circuit now if you want to run you can run it directly let's make it right side so you can see the input voltage is like this 0 50 millivolt minus 50 millivolt okay and just one pulse they have run it and if you want to see out so you can see the output is actually ex exactly equal to the input volt okay if you want to run for more cycle what you have to do go here 
click on this particular configure analysis and run it for uh, let's say it has it is running for uh, 100 millisecond like uh, sorry this is uh, 10 kilohertz 10 kilohertz means what uh, 100 microsecond that is your 0.1 millisecond time period if you want to run it for 10 pulses you can make it 1000 microsecond so now it will run for 10 microsecond okay so this is how uh, sorry 10 pulses it is running uh, let's not make it li this much uh, this thing uh, run it for let us say 300 microsecond so only three pulses will come up okay so you can see three pulses are coming up if you want to see properly what is your input and what is your output uh, you can right click on the uh, waveform window and place a you know like uh, add plot pane above or below you can put so we have put uh, let's say below and we can bring our input voltage in this window and output voltage in this window so you can see whatever the input is there plus minus 50 volt 50 millivolt my output is also plus minus 50 millivolt okay if you want to have some other kind of sources you can always define it by yourself and try out with different sources so hope you have a very good understanding now about how to draw the inverting amplifier uh, non-inverting amplifier and at the same time how to simulate the uh, buffer circuits okay so this is the best way to you know like define your sources also like we have plus vcc and minus vee right and this is the transient analysis that you can set for 300 microsecond or 600 microsecond based on the number of pulses that you wish to have so if you do have any questions regarding this uh, like what are the different op amps that is available in the part windows or you know like components uh, list that is available and if you are not finding any of the parts that also you can have a try like you can directly place op amps and you can configure those op amps with some other parameters like you can see you have universal op amps one two three all those things okay so all right guys thank you so much